Hello, so today we're going to look at central line placement on chest x-ray and we're going to start by looking at a coronal view of a chest CT as I think by knowing the structures well within the mediastinum can really help with being able to place that line on a chest x-ray. So where should the ideal place be for tip position of the line when you're looking for it? It's a little bit controversial. Traditionally, we look for a tip being in between the SVC and the right atrium. It's been thought that if that tip position is too low and it goes into the right atrium, then that can be a risk factor for cardiac perforation or arrhythmia. However, the evidence doesn't really seem to back it up to the point where where we insert dialysis catheters, we actually put them within the right atrium on purpose. And that doesn't seem to cause too many issues. There is a school of thought that says that actually if it's within one of the venous structures on the right side of the mediastinum, then that is probably okay, depending on what the line's used for and if it's only for a short period of time. So let's look at the structures. So on the right side, we can see full of contrast here is our right subclavian vein. And if we follow that through, we can see it goes up towards the right internal jugular vein. So some lines may come in that way and then they join up to form the right brachycephalic vein over here. Now, if we're going for a left-sided line, that will have to course through the left brachycephalic vein over here. And that has a little bit further to go than the right-sided lines. But either way, they join up together. And where you want your line to go towards is the SVC on this right side here. If we follow that down, where the ideal position we talked about is, is the junction between the SVC and the right atrium. And that's in this region here. So if we point out some other structures here, that can help us when we look at our chest x-rays later. So on the left side of the mediastinum, we can see the aorta, we can see the pulmonary trunk, and we can see that junction is just below those areas. Also, if we look where the right hilum is going to be, if we look at our pulmonary artery on this side, here's the right side of pulmonary artery going down towards your lower lobe pulmonary arteries. We can see the junction of the SVC and right atrium is just below where that level is. So we're looking at a level that is on the right side of the mediastinum. It's below the area of the aorta, the pulmonary trunk, and also just below where the right hilum is. So that's the ideal tip position of where we want the line to be. So where don't we want the line position to be? First one is the azagous vein. So the azagous vein runs up the posterior mediastinum and drains into the SVC. So let's have a look for that here on the CT scan. We can see it as this little circle just over here, just above the right main bronchus. And then that should go medially towards the posterior mediastinum there. So the learning point there is if the line courses medially after taking a course that you think is normal, then that could be within the azagous vein and we don't want to we don't want that position there that would be a malposition catheter the second place you don't want it to be is within the artery so if it comes in by mistake via the right subclavian artery rather than the vein the the line will end up within the aorta and you'll see the line head towards your aortic root in this position here so again that's going to go more medially than you would expect it won't take the vertical course on the right side of the mediastinum that you'd expect it to with your SVC. Now let's have a look at this diagram of the chest x-ray. We can see something similar here. So where we want the line to head towards is here, the SVC and going into your right atrium. So that's gonna come in via either your right or your left brachycephalic vein, and that comes in via your internal jugular veins or your subclavian veins. So really what we can take from this is that it really needs to be coursing along the right side of the mediastinum. And to be certain that that's the case, you may just want to check before assessing the x-ray that there is no rotation. So each time you see a case, Firstly, just make sure that the spinous processes are equidistant from the medial clavicles. Where you don't want the line to end up is more medially towards the aortic root and the ascending aorta. Okay, so let's have a look at this case. So firstly, we're going to have a look to see if there's any rotation. I can't see any rotation here. The spinous process looks in the middle of the medial clavicles on both sides. So if we look, take a step back, we can see that there's a line on the left side here. And this is coming through the arm, going through the veins of the arm. So this is likely to be a pick line. So that should head in via the subclavian vein on the left. And then remember that will go through the left brachycephalic vein and just take a slightly longer course than if the line was on the right side and go 
via the left brake valet vane into your SVC, where it should take a vertical course on the right side of the mediastinum. And that's what we can probably see here. And the tip ends just over here. So I can just make out this is just below where the right hilum is. It's below the level of the aorta and the pulmonary trunk. This is slightly higher than the junction of the right atrium SVC. However, I think this line position is satisfactory. I'll be happy with this. Don't just stop there. Remember to also have a look, particularly for pneumothorax on the side that the line's been placed. So can you see any lucency at the lung apex? Can you see a pleural line? I can't see either of those things. I don't think there's a pneumothorax in this case. Here we've got another case. First thing we're going to do again, have a look. Is there any rotation? Spinous processes look like they're in the middle of the medial clavicle, so that looks fine. Here we've got a different kind of line. So we can see the end of the line is hanging out of the chest and it's got two lumens within it. This is a tunneled catheter used for dialysis. So if you follow this through, where should this go? Well, we know there's no rotation here. So this should take a vertical course on the right side of the mediastinum in the region of the SVC. I can see what looks like the SVC over here. However, the line doesn't seem to go in that position. It's going more medially and it looks to be taking the position of where the trachea is and going more medially in that direction. So I need to be worried here that this line is not in the correct position. In this case, we actually have a CT scan to see where the line actually was. So this is a coronal view of the CT. We can see the line entering the neck over here. And if we follow it through, I don't ever really see it enter a vessel and it goes and heads medially. This is the SVC in this position over here but the line just goes nowhere near it and goes towards the mediastinal fat in the center of the chest. And the line ends up here just above the left atrium. So this is an abnormal position. This line needs to be taken out and repositioned. So here we've got another x-ray. This time the line's been repositioned and this time things look a lot better. So we got our hazy opacity on the right side of the mediastinum, which we think represents the SVC. And the line looks like it's taking a vertical course through there and it heads towards the junction of, of the SVC in the right atrium. And that's where I think this tip is placed. It's just below the hyalur point on the right. It's below where I can see the aorta and the pulmonary trunk on the left side of the mediastinum. So this line position looks good. I'll have a double check and look for any pneumothorax and I can't see any pneumothorax here. So I can't see any lucency at the lung apex between the ribs and I can't see a thin white line representing a pleural line. So this all looks okay to me. So hopefully you found this useful. Please do check out this other video on nasogastric tube insertion and subscribe for more videos on the channel.